I really loved doing the uh, editorial page thing the best. That was sort of like my thing. And, and uh, you know, I, I came to really love the job because, you know, God, I, you know, I, I can choose what actually goes into the paper. You know, this is pretty amazing. And, you know, it was, it was fun to go to work every day, which I know a lot of people can't say. So uh, I had a good time. Well, I guess it was just sort of uh, a natural thing growing up in a, in a family, uh, you know, which, which your uh, father is uh, this newspaper editor. I think I first began reading papers when I was nine years old when there was the uh, Christmas floods of 1955. And I thought, you know, wow, this is really cool. This, this would be a, a good thing. I, I guess what he did was he, he didn't deter me from, from going into it. He just sort of let me evolve uh, with it. And of course, he would always come home uh, at night and tell me about what was going on. And, you know, I'd make him a drink and I'd sit there and, you know, hear what went on that day, you know, good, bad, and different. And so, you know, it was, it was just sort of a, a, an everyday part of life. And then when I got into uh, high school, I became a sports editor, then a sports columnist and a managing editor, and then I went to City College, did the same thing. Then I got sort of politicized, politicized so I became a political columnist. And then I went to SF State, and, and instead of going into journalism, I went into poli-sci. Which is a smart thing to <laughs> but, do. But, uh, but then, of course, when I was done with that, I was like, okay, what do I do with, with poli-sci, you know? It, because I was more of a practical, I wasn't really a, a scientist. And uh, so, and of course, during college, I worked at the Chronicle during the summers. And so after I uh, got my BA, I just uh, came back and, and, and started. And six months after I was there in 69, I became a night uh, copy boy super, supervisor, which is how I got my uh, nickname of Captain Willie, because I was in charge of the, the staff. And I guess I did that for a couple of years. And then Mike Brown, who was uh, Charles McCabe's uh, uh, aide, was going to go off to Ireland to uh, write for a year. And so McCabe needed a replacement, so I applied for it. And McCabe couldn't deal with interviewing anyone, so he just said, take the senior person, which turned out to be me. So I got to work for McCabe for a year, which was really a lot of fun. After the uh, McCabe thing, they were reconstituting the Sacramento Bureau. And so I applied for that and I got it because of my poli-sci and history and all that background. So I went up and was the editorial assistant in, in the Sacramento Bureau. And uh, this was like Jerry Brown's first term between 75 and 79. So it was really an interesting time uh, to be in Sacramento and, and covering it. But after three years and three months, it was the work I loved there, but it was not a place to live. But I stuck it out. I didn't drive, so I was sort of stuck in Sacramento. And, um, but then uh, Dave Perlman, who was city editor at the time, wanted to uh, reward me for my you know, work in, in Sacramento. And so he had me, I came down and he took me to Bardelli's, which doesn't exist anymore, for, for lunch and asked me what I want to do. And I said I wanted to be a copy editor, which no one ever asked to I do. Know, Everyone wants to be a reporter. Right, right. I said, no, I want to be a copy editor. I got on the copy desk and uh, yeah, learned from uh, Bruce Colvin, you know, about chronicle style and, and chronicle mm -hmm. style headlines, you mm -hmm. know, which were most unusual in editing and all the rest of it. And um, that was a lot of fun, although Perlman told me later that he, he would have asked me to do six months as a reporter just so I could learn both sides of the thing. Mm -hmm. Well, I was terrified of that uh -huh. because uh, uh, I was really a very shy guy <laughs> at that time. And, and, and because uh, once when I was in Sacramento, uh, remember, I don't know if you've heard about this, where a bus from Marysville, Yuba City, went off a bridge and a bunch of kids, like 22 kids, got killed. 
So, of course, no one was around, no one in the Bureau, so they called up the Sacramento Stringer, whose name I now forget, and he and I went up there in his VW, and I guess I had to go around this, the streets of the, of the town asking people how they felt about this, and I went, I went into a bar, you know, and asked some people, and then I would call up and, you know, give notes or something, but I thought, I don't think this is what I wanted to do, you know, I'm more of an, an editor type. And so I spent 10 years on the, uh, on the uh, main news uh, copy desk, what was good about it was you got to learn how to do other jobs at the same time. So at one time I knew how to do six different jobs at the Chronicle, which meant I was, at least one third of the year I was doing something else, so it was never dull. So like in the letters to the editor section, which you were in charge of here, mm -hmm. you, did you come up with the headlines? Oh yeah, I wrote the headlines uh, as well as doing the editing. And, and so we, you know, we always tried to do have something that was, you know, a little uh, interesting. Uh, yeah, I love this. Yeah, terrorism is as American as cherry pie. See, oh, it's and ten. This is you. Yeah, this, this is, is me. Headline. And this is ten years later. And of course, what are we talking about? Terrorism, and uh, the same. Some of the same things uh, keep on going off. And uh, it's uh, it's just amazing. And actually, if you look at the headlines, a mm -hmm. lot of the the themes and, mm -hmm. and issues are, the, are, are, are true. Yeah, yeah. And, and here you are, even though your name's not here. Right. No, I, I don't know why uh, they never put my name yeah. in, and except for, I think, the last redesign that they, they did. But it, it actually was better to be anonymous uh, in the sense that um, there's, there should be sort of a, 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 a remove between the, the, the letter writers and... and, and uh, the letters editor and and you know I I was perfectly happy being anonymous. I, I didn't need to uh, to uh, be out there. It's it's uh, it's always fascinating. That's why it's it's fun sometimes to go back and, and look at old mm -hmm. stuff to see the, the the recurring themes. You know that we you know sometimes we think we, we've we've invented something and it's. It's really just, you know, it's been out there before, we've just forgotten about it or something, so. So yeah, I guess I never wanted to do anything else. There was no, nothing else that ever, uh, uh, you know, interfered with sort of the going in the journalism uh, direction. Although unlike 99% of, of people who get into journalism, I didn't want to be a writer, actually. Ultimately, I wanted to be an editor. I first started there uh, January 10th, 1964, the day after I graduated from uh, high school, and I basically stayed there until I left August 31st, 2007. Second generation Chronicle lifer.